what if this is it? What if today is the day? What if um, next week is the week? What if next month is the month that everything unravels? Okay, are you watching the signs? Let's have a little talk about what's going on right now <clears throat> in the, the financial um, universe and try to figure out if we are getting really close to the moment where the system falls apart for the average person. All right, hi guys, this is Louie, and uh, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It would help the channel. And uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about the signs that we're seeing just recently that the wheels are starting to come off the bus. Okay, as you know, this is a channel about precious metal stacking, and I like my silver, I like my gold, I like my fun, my fun pieces. Um, and I, I collect these so that I'll have some stability in the long run and I will preserve what's taken me, you know, a lifetime to create. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the signals. Um, these are uh, some Merc dimes. And, and if you've been stacking for a few years, you probably have a stack like this that you picked up between 14 and 17 times face. The Mercs go for a little more. Just the generic, the generic Washingtons, probably some of these I've gotten as, as cheap as 12 times face. Um, but let's take a look at what's going on recently in the financial markets. Okay, have you noticed the stock market? Have you noticed that, um, you know, we seem to be going down more than we're going up these days? And this has something to do with the Federal Reserve. There appears to be um, a greater belief, a greater and greater belief that the Fed is actually going to tighten. All right. And uh, by that, they're going to, uh, you know, be reducing um, the quantitative easing that they have been doing. Um, so they're not really quite tightening yet. But there, but there is a common belief that the Federal Reserve will raise rates uh, as much as three, maybe four times this year. All right. And uh, I think that's a convenient belief because, uh, you know, politically, um, uh, the Fed has got to convince the people that they're trying to fight inflation. Will they succeed in fighting inflation? Well, I think that's un unlikely with a few rate hikes. But what typically happens when the Fed starts hiking rates, when they go from an accommodative stance to a, uh, a more um, aggressive stance? Well, the stock market starts to react. And what has happened recently? Uh, the, the wheels have really fallen off the bus when it comes to the NASDAQ. And of course, you've noticed for a while that uh, not all uh, not all NASDAQ stocks have been participating. Uh, these are laser engraved. Not my favorite kind of uh, engraving, but cute skull. Nicely done skull. Um, but... Um, you know, the NASDAQ is broken. It's broken trend, and it appears to be headed down. Um, why is that? Well, interest rates seem to be going up, and generally the NASDAQ does not perform well um, in a higher rate environment. So um, we see the NASDAQ has broken down, right? And if you haven't gotten your money out of the NASDAQ, you may want to think about it. Um, but before that, small caps really had broken down. This is the first uh, Queen's Beast Gold piece, quarter ounce. Lion of England. <clears throat> I picked up a few of these back in the day. Um, but before that, the small caps really um, had broken down. And, and now we're seeing cracks, of course, in... Uh, in the S&P and the Dow, and which would not be unusual if the Fed is truly becoming less accommodative and about to go into a rate height cycle. Um, I don't personally believe they'll go all the way with it. I think they will pull back at some point on the rhetoric. But right now, that's where the markets are. Wheels falling off the bus when it comes to the stock market. Um, a lot of people made a lot of money in stocks and uh, can't fault them for that. But stock market down, 
Okay, high flying NASDAQ stocks down, small caps down, um, and uh, you know, the averages down. All right, that's number one. The average person is probably going to start to realize pretty soon that they are very likely to lose money this year. Okay, very, very likely. What else is going on? Well, are you watching cryptos? Okay, if you haven't noticed the drop from 70,000 um, to 40,000 in Bitcoin, then you're just not paying attention. Maybe you're hodling too tight, but the crypto market is falling apart. All right, it is um, in a downtrend. Could it resume its uptrend? Possibly, but um, at the moment, the crypto market is falling apart. People that are on high leverage with crypto, um, if they haven't been crushed already, they very likely will be crushed in the near future. What's going on with inflation? Well, we know inflation per the CPI is up around 7%, right? I mean, the highest in you know how many decades. Um, we know that uh, it is probably going to be pretty consistent. In spite of the Fed uh, throwing darts at an elephant, um, inflation is going to be persistent. Okay, this is like the third thing that the average person is noticing. And of course, inflation steals the purchasing power of your dollar. Um, personally, I don't care if the dollar is the strongest um, the strongest currency in a basket of failing currencies, that's irrelevant to me because they can all uh, continue to drop rapidly. And you could still hear CNBC saying, and people on YouTube saying, but the dollar is strong. Okay, at some point, precious metals decouple from the dollar because all currencies are sinking. Pretty, uh, pretty poured bar there, hey? I made that one. So we've got inflation persistently high. Wages are ticking up, not to the extent that inflation is ticking up, um, which means that there's going to be a crunch on the middle class. You knew that was coming. Um, so, you know, there is no relief for the average person who's losing, you know, perhaps 7% of their purchasing power a year. Maybe that'll drop to five or four, but the dollar is burning, even though it's strong, as silly as that sounds. So what else is going on? Well, we've got conflict in the world. Russia making highly aggressive, here, oh. Russia <clears throat> making overtures to the Ukraine. Woo, oh, I didn't. There's a nice little Germania round. I picked up a couple of these. You know, uh, Russia making a uh, saber rattling with the Ukraine talks at a standstill. Right, right. So now we've got the threat of war. That's not a good thing, right? And then the final thing, which has been with us for two years now, is death death from uh, um a uh, a mishap at the wuhan laboratory uh death has come to many many people as a result of uh the virus that has spread and the, the mutations that have spread that's no small thing i mean you know what exactly happened in wuhan is that uh were, were they running that place kind of like uh, you see in these Korean movies? That, do you watch Korean disaster movies? They are just a hoot. They're the funniest things ever. But were they just bumbling around and cutting all safety procedures to release uh, one of the most deadliest plagues on mankind ever? I don't know if they're that stupid or not. Somehow I doubt that since if you mess up too bad, you get disappeared in China. So um, we have active bio-warfare going on in our world, in my opinion. And then governments complicit or not complicit, I don't know, you be the judge of that. But that's not a good thing, all right? So tell me where the silver lining is for our economy, for our world, for our future, for our children.
And perhaps now is exactly the time. Do you think silver is expensive? You know, at, at a spot price of 22 to 23, do you think this stuff that's used in absolutely everything we do, well, not constitutional, but get the focus back. Do you, do you think that 22 to $23 is expensive for silver? Do you think that $1,800 is expensive for gold? And a thousand for platinum, and I can't speak to palladium, but do you think that's expensive in a world where you can't buy lunch for less than $15 today? Right? Gasoline, $5 a gallon, where I am and headed higher. Um, tell me what in this scenario, let's find something else to look at. Let's tell me what in this scenario gives you confidence that the wheels are not coming off the bus right now. All right, and I do recommend averaging into silver and gold. I think silver is the better buy at a GSR of 79. Continues to hold, that 80 GSR continues to hold. You see silver go up in the 80s, it's the better buy if you can beat the premiums, all right? On a bar like this, if you can get a bar like this for two to 225 over spot, you did it. You beat the premium and you're buying in when silver is historically cheap compared to gold. Gold is the end game. Everybody wants it, but not at 80 to 1. I'm not buying gold. Okay, no, I'm buying silver. When it gets back to 60 to 1, I'll, I'll consider selling some silver and, uh, and picking up some gold. Okay, but you tell me where I'm wrong. I know that, uh, you know, people think the stock market is going to inflate. There's some libs I have uh, left. Someone asked me recently, um, you know, what, what did you do with all your Libertads? I think I've been telling you guys that I'm selling every single Libertad I own while the prices are high. Uh, some of these Libertads I literally got for like $17 an ounce for the one ounce. So uh, they're, they're going bye-bye because the premiums are high. They've become a collector coin. I don't want collector coins in my stack anymore. I'm selling them all, all right? I want bars. I don't want eagles. Premium's too high, but I haven't sold those yet. So to be fair, I still have my eagles. Um, ooh, here's a nice tube. Copper. You stack in copper if you're on a budget? I don't know. I got these Aztec Dragons for, I think, under a dollar a piece. They sell for five or ten or something like that now. First in the series of the World of Dragons uh, series. Copper, not a bad investment these days. Copper up over four dollars. You think copper's going back to a dollar or two dollars? No. No. Do you think silver's going to 15? Well, some people do. Some people think silver is going back down. But what if it's not going to 15? What if it's going to 50? Okay, I can't promise that. This isn't financial advice. But what if it's going to 50, like next week? What if everybody realizes that they need to get out of the stock market? They need to get out of the crypto market. Home prices are through the roof. And perhaps that's not the best place to put new money if you already have your own personal residence. What if you're worried about the system falling apart, the banks, the Fed, Congress, imbeciles in Washington, and war? Okay, this, this is the protection. You might have some, you might have some weapons as well, right? You might have some security measures as well. And, uh, you know, like-minded people that can trade and barter when Uncle Joe comes and starts snooping around your bank account for all private transactions so he can tax you on them. You think, you think tax rates are going down? No, they're going up. Everything is going up. U.S. Mint inflation. You think you can buy uh, U.S. Mint products, what you used to? They don't want you to have silver. They don't want you to have gold. 
the government and JP Morgan and other entities that control the derivatives market want you to think that this is nothing. But it's not nothing, it's something, and it's something really special. So uh, do consider your timing, do not have FOMO, but do not dawdle. Silver and gold are not expensive here. Everything else pretty much is and looks to me at the moment like it's going lower. So you could have some fiat put aside as well, perhaps capitalize on any drops that occur in the market in any of those markets, crypto, stock, real estate, but don't be fully invested on leverage in high-flying, you know, crypto and NASDAQ stocks. That's not the future. Crying out loud. Let's get real and get some physical, um, physical metals behind this. All right, this is Louis signing out. Let me know. I don't know if, uh, you know, I'm being too negative today. I guess I couldn't be much more negative, right? I, but it seems to me that all the indicators are pointing down at the moment. Uh, do you think the economy is going back into expansion mode? Well, if it does, it, it won't be for a few months, that's for sure, with the latest lockdowns, which I, I think I do think will pass. But in this environment where people can't live on what's being paid, they would rather have a government handout than a job. They don't want to do the menial jobs, right? Young people can't get ahead. Nobody's going to college anymore. So education is in the toilet for the United States. Um, where's the future? But here's the protection. Here's the protection if you're worried about those things. We'd love to hear your thoughts and whether you think, uh, you know, uh, we are headed down soon. Okay, I think a lot of people believe that uh, there are many negative things occurring. But are we headed down soon and are metals headed up soon? I think that's what people would love to hear your opinion on. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you next week. Louie out.